Greetings, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about configuring our devices with IP version 6. So, I've got my lab open here, and what we're looking at is the three IP addresses that I'm going to assign for my three devices. Now, this is an IP version 6 address. Now, the rest of the lab prior to this was all just a tutorial showing you how you can get your own private IP range and all that fun stuff. But here's the thing. This is also testable on the 704010 exam. Right? So you have to understand what designates a private IP range, and it's the FD. Okay? That's what designates a private IP range in IP version 6. So that's important. So remember that. So when you see that on the exam, it's going to ask you which one of these IP addresses for IP version 6 is, is the private IP range. You have to know uh, to look for the FD. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go over here and move that out of the way. And we're going to start by going into my network connections here. I'm going to open up my network and sharing center. And we're going to go up to the change adapter settings. I'm going to right click on this adapter and go into my properties here for IP version 6. Now notice currently nothing's configured. So I'm going to go ahead and use the following IP address. Now the subnet prefix for this particular address is 64-bit. And if you just click on it, it'll actually do it for you. You don't have to do anything. Just put your mouse in there and click on it. It'll do the rest. Now since this is a lab environment, I don't need for this machine to be going out to the Internet or looking for a default gateway. So I'm just going to point it back to itself. Now for the preferred DNS server. This is interesting. Since this machine is already a DNS server, it's already identified itself and given itself the IP version 6 loopback address. And this is the IP version 6 loopback address right there. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to this. I'm going to say OK to this. And now we have configured this domain controller with IP version 6. And in the, the next short presentation, I'm going to show you how to do this for server core, which is much more convoluted. Okay, so now I'm over on my server core, and I need to configure this machine with IP version 6 as well. Now remember that I have the option, and it's a good option, to go ahead and reinstall the GUI portion of this server so that I can have readily easy access to the network configuration. But if I wanted to do this from the, the command line down here in server core, I can do it. And let's see just how we go about doing that. So the first thing I'm going to do is find out the name of my Ethernet adapter for my server core. So I'm going to type in ipconfig. And the name for my Ethernet adapter is Ethernet 0. So we have to take note of that. Okay, now on the next command that I'm going to run, we're actually going to try to assign an IP version 6 address to the server core. For this to happen, I'm going to use the NetSH utility, and I'm going to right click in here, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in, and that's the command right there. Now this command is available in the lab, so I'm not going to read it off to you, and you can see that I've used the second available IP version 6 address so that I can assign the IP version 6 to this core. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit enter. And it comes back letting me know that the command completed successfully. Now the next thing I have to do is set the DNS server address for IP version 6 for server core. So for this, we're going to have to break out PowerShell. So to launch PowerShell, I'm going to type in Start PowerShell at the command prompt and hit Enter. PowerShell pops up. Now this next command is, is, a, is a little hard to deal with, but it is doable. So this is the set DNS client server address commandlet that's available up inside of PowerShell. So what I'm going to do is here is just right click. I'm going to paste this command in here. 
and it says set dash DNS client server address space dash interface alias well that's Ethernet zero then I gotta have the server address both IP version 4 and IP version 6 I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter see what happens and it comes back to the command prompt so I'm not going to use IP IP config now I can use this at either the PowerShell and or the command prompt so we'll just go ahead and leave it right here where it's at I'm going to run it and what we're looking for here is to see if I have any IP addresses assigned and we look up here at the top of my results here for IP version IP config and we see that I have the uh, connection specific DNS suffix that's missing that's fine but just below that I have the IP version 6 address and there's the address right here that we configured down here and I will now uh, we don't see it yet but I'm, I'm gonna show the I'm gonna show you the DNS servers addresses here I'm gonna bring up IP config and I'm gonna do a forward slash all and if we go down here we should be able to see the DNS servers and here it is here's the DNS server address and there's the IP version 4 address so both of those commands completed successfully but it doesn't always work out that way for whatever reason a lot of times IP version 6 doesn't play nice with server core this time it did but if it didn't we'd want to be able to get up and do it through the GUI and that's why I like uh, allowing the um, ability to remain to jump back and forth between core and the full GUI install now in the next short video that I'm about to present we're going to do the same thing for my Windows 7 client so currently I'm up inside of my main domain controller and I'm looking at my DNS records and I see that I have IP version 4 and IP version 6 records for both of my domain controllers now down here we see my Windows 7 client and it only has a address for its IP version 4 but we're about to add in the IP version 6 address so now we're back over on my Windows 7 client and again I'm going to right click down here off of my network adapters and I'm going to open up Network and Sharing Center I'm now going to go to change adapter settings I'm going to right click on my adapter go to properties and open up IP version 6 and as we've done before I'm going to use the following IP version 6 address and again if you just click in the box it'll do the suffix for you now I already know that dot 2 is my primary domain controller or where I want this machine to go look if it needs to have something that it can't find locally and again same with the DNS server for the primary okay so now I'm just going to validate and I can do this very easy just by checking this box right here when I say okay it's going to run through the validation process and everything should be copacetic and it should tell me that it can't find any problems so I'm going to go ahead and close close this now we're going to bring up a command prompt and now I'm going to do an IP config and space forward slash all and we can go down here and we can see that the information that we just typed in is present there's my DNS server and here's the new IP version 6 address that was just assigned to uh, this Windows 7 client now we go back over here to my server and if I do a refresh here that's what I'm going to do here I'm just going to go up and refresh it let's see the easiest way to do a refresh is hit F5 hopefully that'll work but if it doesn't work all you got to do is just close it out and open it back up so I'm just going to close it and now we're just going to open it back up real quick now it can take a couple minutes for the for the records to actually actually register it happens sometimes but now we see that the record is here uh, DNS has registered the IP version 6 address for my Windows 7 client 
Now there's some other processes that we go through, such as verifying. We can do I we can do a ping back and forth to test that the IP version six is working. That's fine. Um, but once you have a record up here, you're pretty well set and you're pretty confident, or you should be, that the IP version six is working. But it doesn't hurt to verify by doing a ping of the IP version six address from host to host. All right, so that concludes this short video presentation, and I hope I see you in my next video.